This podcast is brought to you by and powered by Sunday. Cool. What? This or listen. Yeah. That was nuts what you just did. <laughs> I was going word for word and then you went I know, like I know. half word, half word this time, and then I did, and you said Sunday cool, so you're doing two words. I thought we were doing vowels. That's not even correct what you did. It what is not what I'm wait, why is this one vowel? Doing. Wait, is it vowel? Consonant. Yeah, that's a one. <laughs> Continent. Oh, continent. Ketchup, condiment. Oh! oh, watch this. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. We're going to be getting right back to Ninjas the Butterflies real quick. But want to show you uh, around and give you a little bit of a tour of what uh, we're doing here at Sunday Cool. So everyone's very hard at work. We're actually almost into our busy season. So we got a lot of people over here chilling, quality control, making sure everything is as beautiful and remarkable as we want it to be. The, the better call, the cooler call right here, baby. Yes. And then after everything's done printing, we box everything up and then we ship it to you. 72 hour turnaround after art approval. That means as soon as your art is done, you say it's good to go. Within 72 hours, it's on its way to you. Come on, let's go inside. All right, this is our sales department over here. Art people right here, very talented art crew. And there's M. You'll meet the other um, 25 letters of the alphabet later. <laughs> Let's see what Josh is up to. There he is. There he is, guys. Are you ready to guess to get back to the pod? Uh. What's up? <laughs> back to the show! Gas station burrito. Burrito. I'm just gonna do this. But 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 burrito. Why didn't you wear your glasses? Because I look hideous in my glasses. Aww. I do. I look like Moaning Myrtle. No. I shouldn't have said that. Last time I saw you, and I was like, you do look horrible in those. I, <laughs> I walked around the whole office, and I kept saying, because people were staring at me different, and I'm like, these are my backup glasses. And Clarissa kept saying, nobody's thinking about your glasses. Literally no one. Literally no one. Literally but they, but, no one. But, but thank you for um, giving all the... Um, young kids, women, who are struggling with wearing their glasses. Thank you for that. I don't think that glasses that are hideous. I The girls broke my favorite glasses, and I only have my backup Moaning Myrtle glasses. Then go get a new pair of glasses. I know. I need to. It's not that easy, Andy. It kind of is. You have the prescription. You know what size of glasses you need. Do you mean you just call 1-800-eyeglass store? 800 eyeglass store, you're going to see good today. Wow, I can see good. Powered by. What is that? <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness, I can see the fourth realm. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> um, hey, <laughs> come on. No, no, Can't. she's done. We leave her behind, dude. We got to leave her behind. Yeah, Me ahead. and you are going to the top. I, we're, we're doing the, we're doing the, up we're, here. the energy <laughs> mountain. We're climbing. And she's gonna be left at the uh, at the bottom. What, what is the, what's the opposite of the summit? B I'm base. the Sherpa. Base. What base. about Sicky over here? He's with, he's the dude. He's with us. You're at the bottom. Dang it. Sorry. Fair. Yeah. Start, start climbing. He's our little Sherpa. Hey, start climbing, babe. Hey, hey, you gotta just you gotta pick yourself up by the bootstraps. Hey, one foot in front, one put uh, put one foot right in front of the other. Now you know what they say: if you get kicked off a, um, a, 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 a horse, you just gotta you just gotta look that thing in the eye, and you gotta understand the moss is only gonna be painted toward one side of the sun. What? <laughs> that's an old southern. That's saying. what they say. The, that's what they say. <laughs> I mean, that's what they say. That's what my grandpa told me, and I'm gonna tell you. Sorry, Maury, I'm not a gymnast. <laughs> I gotta watch that again. Yeah, you do. I don't. I don't know. Zoolander. Remember the references as, as much as I should. It's been so long. I do love the gas station scene though. The pumps. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the fountain at the end. It's so good. Like me. That should have been how we revealed water reveal. We should have redone that <laughs> oh, commercial. Yeah. I thought it would be such a fun idea. I don't know if they exist yet, but I need a hose nozzle that hooks to my hose at my house that looks like a gas station pump. That would be really cool. It would be, funny. dude, be outside. Just <laughs> that would be hilarious. Like so giving your dog a bath, your neighbor's <laughs> yeah. away. Hey, just drinking out of it. The kids, hey, you have to drink. Smoking a cigarette and <laughs> yeah, that'd be perfect. Um, remember how you ordered an orange mocha frappuccino the first time you went to Starbucks? I did because and of Zoolander. <laughs> orange mocha. <laughs> 
Yeah. Is that what it's from? Mm-hmm. He's but they didn't actually have it. Oka Frappuccino. <laughs> it was also in Canada. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why Starbucks didn't do that. Like, yeah. why would they win? Why not just hop on that, right? Yeah. Um, Kels one time, I, you know, the McChicken, there's other names for it, but I called it the McChubble, the McChicken, and then the McDouble on top of each other. It's so good, but you, it's on a menu item, right? And in high school, I ate that all the time. He's like, you take off the top of the McChicken, you put the McDouble on top, and it's a perfect sandwich. But Kelsey's like, oh, I'm in college. My boyfriend's still in high school. I'm going to go bring him lunch. And uh, she, she goes to McDonald's. She's like, I'm going to get his favorite thing. And so she says in the drive-in, can I get a McChubble? <laughs> and oh, they're no. like, sorry, what? And she's like, I'm thinking I'm saying it right. McChubble? <laughs> they're like, I don't know what you mean. Don't know what that is. <laughs> she's like, oh, never mind. Just give me a McChicken and like a McDouble or something. <laughs> what are the other names for it? We can't. They're not appropriate. Oh, really? Yeah. They are inappropriate for the young ears. Which ma- it makes no things. sense. McChubble is the perfect word name for it. Yeah. It's a big chicken McDouble. Chubble. Chubble, chubble. Oh, no, I'm in trouble. What? No, it, literally, it doesn't make sense. Oh. And if you could bring it up, people are going to look it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, they're already doing it now. Yeah, it's absolutely. <laughs> um, I'll put sorry. Right here. Hey, Lil. <laughs> Start climbing. Ah! Lily, come on. No. We're on a mountain, remember? <laughs> Speaking of mountains. Speaking of mountains. I literally just watched a video that Everest has about three tons of poop on it. That's pretty crazy, Barf. and and now it has uh, now it's like a thing where you hack sh- you actually have to carry um, poop bags, b- poop bags that are reusable up to seven times. <gasps> reusable bags. I don't know. Yeah, I have no I have no idea how that so works. A but bag. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> just any bags reusable, <laughs> <Yeah>. bud. <laughs> Human poop. Human poop because yeah. people would just poop everywhere on there, and yeah, apparently people would fall, and it would, it would be terrible. Like it's yeah, it's gross. That does not seem like a place that you would want to poop. But it's rich people poop. True. Um, maybe there's gold. Josh stepped in human poop one time. Oh, we talked about it a couple of times. Barefoot, uh, right? Yeah. No, in Crocs. In Crocs. In Crocs. <laughs> um, That's so terrible. Do you dude. know the thing about the height of Everest? It's 29,032 feet. Or it used to no, say- 29,002 two, feet. It, used, it now says 32. It used oh, to okay. say two, but the first guy- who measured it? Yeah, measured. what are we talking about this? Who, who told us about this? Last week? About, was it on the pod? No. Oh, okay. it wasn't. Okay, got it. But yeah, it's 29,000 feet exactly. And he was like, no one will trust my math. And so he added two feet. We, yeah, just, just throw it off. Yeah. We totally talked about this on the podcast. I don't think so. I think so, but I can't remember. I don't think I'm pretty so. Sure we, I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> it is. I'm sick. Everything's <laughs> blending together. So I apologize. Um. Hey, Lil, do you want a song? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. She gets it. Now you're now you're now you're clicking. Can we just not now gaslight me them. today? Oh no, we won't. No. Definitely not. Okay, cool. No. Cool. Um Annie, what are you thinking? Oh, let's do something maybe not on our own mainland type of music. Maybe oh. something like overseas. Oh, across the pond. Yes. Ah, yeah, possibly. Would you like a Yes, yes. A nice English song? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Welcome back. Ninjas and butterflies about to get whack. Call me the sun, cause I'm hot and I always come back. Episode 84. Yeah, we've got that riz. Greatest podcast in the world. Yeah, we run this biz. Bees, bees, boys, boys. I'm a bumblebee. Here I come, out me way. Nothing comes for free. I've got a stinger black and yellow high full of money. No worries, I don't buy. Just here to steal your honey. Buzz, buzz, yo. Buzz, buzz. Fake bean, big queen, princess Kate, not seen. Government lies, government spies, wearing masks like Halloween. Knock knock, trick or treat, give me something good to eat. Pumpkin pie filled with lies, so pull up bussy. See, see, squeak, squeak, look at me, I'm a mouse. Get that cheddar, dodging traps, in your mom's house. You be Tom, I'll be Jerry, cause I always win. To cut this chit chat, let's show be gay. Never like cats. Never did. Or the dog person, really. Prefer the, the canine to kitty cat. 
No fee line. No Anyways, fee line. let's start the show. Wow! An English rap. This goes out to the 413. <laughs> 413, date. That's yeah. awesome. Color me impressed. Is it because were you inspired by the gentleman? Yes. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the gentleman. Speaking of it. That was a great show, but everyone be quiet. Because I get, are we doing, can I talk about the gentleman? No, no. We're, we're past that but because we're speaking of it. I finally it. watched it, though. Everyone, please. There's a lot of things coming up. <laughs> this question today should be really thought about, Okay. So I really want you to think about this question, yes or no. But today's question, sent in by a viewer. Should children fear the moon? Uh, is that a trick question? Yes, of course. Of course, yeah. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I, mean, I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. They, they have to. No. No more than the sun, I suppose. What? Or the stars. This is Lily. This is really bad. We're talking about what you're saying. Like, like when people moon other people, like okay. like your buttocks, your you, so bottom. You did not. So no, 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 no. If I, if I'm getting literally the word he said, Lily thinks that children shouldn't be afraid of being mooned by a bum. By a bottom? That's terrible. Like in a park? That's terrible. You should always or, be afraid or of at it. at school? That's inappropriate. That's inappropriate, Lil. We should be protecting our children. We should not be mooning children, Lily. They should fear that. They shouldn't embrace that. They shouldn't be happy what with that. What kind of message is that going to send if they're not supposed to be like, oh, I guess I'm not supposed to be afraid of that anymore. Yes, of course you should. Explain yourself. Oh, my God. Actually, don't explain don't. yourself because I guess it turns out that Lily's okay with children seeing people's bottoms in public parks against their will against their will welcome to the show Sorry, y'all. That just gets me like it just gets me angry. Yeah, I guess. no, I get it. Listen, you I'm said just, you weren't gonna gaslight me. Well, we we tried not to. But you mean you'd kind of forced our hand, yeah. didn't you? A little bit. Ugh. 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 Women. So the gentleman. The, the gentleman. I'm only three episodes in. Pretty good. Pretty Dude, good. So good. Pretty good. You finished it? I finished it. Ooh. And I don't I'm like notorious for starting and losing interest really, really quickly. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk. Really quickly, I'll talk about things that I like that won't spoil it for you. Mm -hmm. Have you? Did you notice the the bokeh in some of the lenses, like some of the dramatic scenes? There's like swirling bokeh. It's vintage lenses that get that oh. effect. So they're doing like it'll literally be the same section of dialogue, and then one of the lenses will change just for like that dramatic. I'm deep in thought effect, yeah. which means everybody on the set pause. We're updating all the cameras, and then we're going to get the rest of this shot. It's Guy like, Ritchie, man. He's incredible. He's skilled. That's what that's what made me watch it. Yeah, guys are great. <laughs> I don't I don't see girl Ritchie out there making any movies. Yeah, you know <laughs> what? Yeah, you know yeah. what? Yeah, more like girl Pori and Guy Ritchie. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, girls are poor <laughs> in spirit. Yeah, Wait, you are. No. What's going on, Will? Talk to <laughs> us. Oh, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I don't what's know up? what's wrong. I need to talk to my best friend. Force a smile. <laughs> Is it, it it tells your brain that you're happy, yeah, right? It's yep. true. Yep. And push all that deep. With your eyes too. It's actually smile really scary. It's eyes. really scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, back hurts really bad. What happened to it? I don't know. Probably lifting someone. Well, you did tell her she had to sleep outside for a while, right? Yes. Because she smelt? Yes. Is that what you told her? Yeah. Listen. Yeah? Then you have to leave. This is, this. It, you're not, it's not healthy for the children. <laughs> Lily, you know my nose is sensitive. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow, so, get away! What the? <laughs> my back hurts, my contacts hurt. I'm going to get LASIK. I scheduled a consultation. Cool. Nice. Cool. Um, why is your contacts hurt? 
I don't know. I have allergies in my eyes, and the pollen count is so high, you could literally shovel pollen in your mouth. It looks like, I don't know, I mean, someone just sprinkled green dust all over our cars just yeah. as a prank. Like it's a really terrible. lame prank. It's crazy. Yeah. My, eyes, my contacts are I told Josh when you go out them. there with a credit card, and get a line, and just <laughs> see who can get, like, <laughs> who can go the longest without sneezing. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. That sounds like the worst. <laughs> Hey, kids, we got a challenge for everybody. But you know what's beautiful about it? What? Spring has sprung. Dude, <laughs> nature is thriving. Spring has sprung, and I am happy. Dude. Mother nature is in a good mood. <laughs> Dude, I can't celebrate spring when it's 40-something degrees outside. Yeah, this is whack. I turned on my heat <laughs> last night just because it got yeah. it just dipped so low. But then and it's going to be 80 tomorrow. Really low, like 65, guys. It was, like, really low. It got to 48. It was 48? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was 46 in my house. So <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so shut your bile, dude. The other day I was listening to NPR and they were like, spring is coming. That means it's going to get warmer. And it was one of those days where it was like 89 degrees outside. And I was like, oh, I'm tortured. It's so hot out here right now. Puxatani yeah. Phil lied to us. Mm. Who's that? <clears throat> you don't know Puxatani? I just said, mm. I you, have you, know, you know who Puxatani Phil is? No. No. You know. Is it the. It's a groundhog. Yeah. Huh? It's the groundhog for Groundhog's Day. The like, one they pull out of the hole and they look. That's Puxatawneyville. I don't think that's common knowledge. I am pretty sure it is. It's in literally the Groundhog Day movie, first of all. So, yeah, it is common knowledge. That's it's not common movie. knowledge. Yes, then, it is. It's, if you, Puxatawney, if you, if you, if you Pennsylvania. Never, if, you, if you never seen the movie, then you don't. it's not common knowledge. It would be common knowledge because it's a literal national holiday, February I've seen, 2nd. I've seen that movie three times and I, don't, I didn't remember that name. Because you didn't really watch it, did you? You didn't really watch it, did you, Josh? No. What'd you do instead, huh? Tell me what you did. Mm, Say it now into the microphone. Say what you did. I don't want to say it. Say it, Josh. We're not moving on until you say it. What did you do? I went to the store and made fun of old people. That's what I thought. That's what you always do. <laughs> yeah. When you're saying you're watching movies, I know exactly. I, share, I check your location. I'm like, he's in the mall. He's making fun of old ladies. <laughs> say, hey, old geezer, you smell like yam. <laughs> You smell like my wife. Hey. <laughs> Why are you bringing her into this? Listen, Andy, I don't think I've paid attention to Groundhog Day since the first grade. Really? I mean, it's literally a national holiday, but no big deal. It's on every calendar. Nobody's paying attention to it. Everyone is. No. It's a huge event. No one. No. This must just be you. <laughs> what if we look it up? It doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> it does not exist. The movie's not real. Um. Speaking of movie, ooh, um, I saw this conspiracy theory um, regarding Joe Biden being an actor. <laughs> oh, and it's not actually Joe Biden. Who I am I? Don't know if this is if someone made this, but it got leaked, or yeah. someone's like, "Hey, did you see this on IMDb?" <sighs> um, and then it like took off, but then it, I guess since then it's been taken off of imdb mm -hmm. but it was a uh, a movie right on imdb is that asl for movie <laughs> yeah um and the title was joe biden sworn in as u.s president on inauguration day 2021 shut up no way and it only had one actor in the cast and crew who was and his name is arthur roberts and um this is Arthur Roberts. No. Look at. <laughs> but they're saying that Believe he had he was wearing a mask. Like I don't know if you saw the the uh, was it the State of the Union? Yeah. Whatever address. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever he addressed Congress or whatever. There was a picture where he was like kind of like looking down and dude, it looks like he's wearing a mask. No way. Yeah. Have you not seen it? No. Andrew, are you pulling it up? Yes, it's super weird, but I remember because th this happens with every president or like president uh, elect or nominee or sometimes because I remember when Hillary was running for president and she like she had like some type of medical issue. And she passed out outside of her car oh, no. like and they like picked her up and put her in the car and stuff. And then later, you know, a one comes out. And they're like, that's not her. That's a fake. That and so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it happens with everything. Did you find it? No, it's a bunch of photos of Biden wearing a COVID mask. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh dang! <laughs> I'll I'll show you it later, but it's crazy. Like it literally looks like you could just like grab it and just pull it off. Yikes! And yeah. it's not super easy to get something on IMDb either. So it's like, why did that yeah. exist? Like, what was happening? Was there like just some like low budget movie being made and mm -hmm. he was cast, Wait, or is was that... it? No, that's not it. But there's I. Yeah, 
Um, I forget who it was. Maybe it was an old blurry episode or another podcast I was listening to. But this lady, she was talking about, she used to work for the intelligence agency or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was called or what division she was in, but they, her division specialized for spies in like mask. Like Ethan Hunt. Like, like she said, what they did in Mission Impossible is what we are doing in the 70s. No, 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 no. Yes, no. that's what that she was saying. That is so far-fetched. Not like, I doubt it's like the, the printing mask where it immediately fits to your face. No, but, like but all they, the, they make these yeah. masks where it's like they were literally passing off as different people. Oh, my really. gosh. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you could get those silicone masks for 700 bucks. And they're pretty... And they're, they, they fit your face incredible, and you cannot tell the difference. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's crazy. It's honestly kind of scary because imagine like all the the crime that could happen. Yeah. If you have these really good masses, like you're not gonna be able to identify anybody. I always thought about how like, like our president. <gasps> you remember that show back in the day, the prank show or the friend show, um, Jack Booty. Yeah, 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 yeah. How they would have the grandpa scene where he was like <laughs> yeah. fully prosthetic. Yeah, and they I did a whole thought, movie. I always thought, dude, we shouldn't show teenagers that because they're gonna do that and buy alcohol. Absolutely, that's what happened during COVID. The kids would just go in there with masks on and there was like a ton, oh. ton, ton of kids getting caught. Um, but some would just get away with it because I mean, like you can't like people would just throw a fit, pull your mask down to check your ID. And it's like, you're going to ask me to pull my mask down in the middle of a pandemic. It's dangerous. And then they're like, okay, 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 fine. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. All right, leave it up. Here's your, all your beer. Cause they could dress up as an old, like they could dress up, you know, looking yeah. older, yeah. put a mask on. No one would have any the way idea. I'm such a rule follower. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> you immediately give yourself away. Yes. Um, speaking of speaking things, of movies, speaking of movies, did you just cut him off? Cut me off? What the heck, Lily? I did. Who do you think runs this show? We it's watched. You, right? the, I don't know at this point. <laughs> we watched the worst movie ever created. Worst movie ever created. Oh yeah, with this guy. Oh, dream scenario. Dream scenario. <laughs> On Max, it just came out. I've been looking forward to it. Horrible. <laughs> if you want to feel bad, watch that movie. Well, tell me why. What's your rating, first of all? Uh, I gave it a three. Three? Yeah. I, wow. Two and a half, three. Jeez, what was so bad about it? Everything. Creepy. The feelings. Why, will I like it? Mm. That's the thing. It's like try, if, it, if it was it. just a bad movie, no, but no. if it's just a different like type, it's a different genre you don't like. Bad it, movie, it was bad. bad feelings. <laughs> yeah, it was. Try it. Yeah, because you know, I'm now interested to yeah. see. I'll I'll definitely watch it. There's it wasn't like there's only like one part of the movie that was creepy, mm -hmm. but then it's it just was very just like creepy, it was. I don't know. It was it's very, well made though, right? Mm. No, no. Bummer. Yeah, it's like um, a twenty four is kind of dropping off a bit. I, they're not being as picky do, and choosy, dude. They're doing yeah, too much. They they're are. doing too much. They used to be very picky and choosy, and now they're getting too big. Now they need to have sub genres like a twenty four, but then a twenty four like. A different like art house or whatever like yeah. there needs to be there's definitely sub genres i'm sure yeah. not you know technical ones but yeah, yeah remember when we were starting in it said like 824 at the beginning i was like oh we're gonna leave this movie feeling awful <laughs> and you're like not necessarily awful <laughs> <laughs> well what, what they did one recently what was it past lives which you feel awful <laughs> I can't remember how. Yeah, I guess they kind of do all and with you feeling. No, awful. there's some. There's some. Of like Swiss Army Man. Yeah. Oh kinda, yeah, Swiss Army Man's but awesome. But you you leave it feeling awful. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Ba, ba, Everything ba, everywhere ba, all at once ba, ba, is probably ba, the best A24 movie of all time. Yeah. <laughs> what is? Everything everywhere all at once. That I didn't one, know that was A24. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah, because they have the googly eyes at the beginning with A24. Dude, so the fun. way I was crying so hard. <laughs> she learned to love like Waymond. Yes. Yes. Waymond. That was the same Waymond. Everybody was Waymond. Yep. <laughs> uh, Uncut Gems ended good. No. No, but did uh, Midsummer ended good. Lighthouse <laughs> ended good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, Andy. The old switcheroo. I Classic did, Andy. I didn't uh, know that Uncut Gems was tw 824. Uncut Yes. I can never hear that. I do. We've that. quoted it like three times in the past episode, <laughs> I think. Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. Right. But um, I want to talk about two people that are following us on Instagram real quick because that made me think of somebody. Okay. Dude. First of all, the guy who assisted the producer of the music of Dune 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the assistant director Shut of the up! music of yeah. Dune 2. Listen to us. So he works like under Hans? Yeah. Dude. Dang. Yeah. Huge. Are Dude. you deceased? Are yeah. you deceased? 
Uh, no, but it's really cool. I know. Like, I know it's so silly. Celebrities, like, whatever. They're all the same people. But it is cool that people, like, that we don't even, even we've never met or never dreamed of meeting, love the pod. Yeah. Chum Lee from the Pawn Stars is, is, a fan really? of, is a fan of the show, and he follows us on Instagram. Really? Yep. And uh, the kid, the young guy. And then um, I think her name is uh, Trish Strong or Tara Strong. I think it's Tara Strong. The voice of freaking uh, Timmy Turner. What? Shut up. Was it green girl? juice, lava juice? That guy, that girl, yeah. Wow. Dude, she follows us. It's so cool. But also the lead actor in uh, Past Lives. Yeah, he and, Flam- and Flaming Hot Cheetos. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, we're not even that cool. We're uh, not that cool, but it's like, it's oh, so yeah. cool to be like, have them just be like a part of the Ninja fan. Speak for it's yourself. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Who's, okay, name one celebrity that you're like, you would keel over. There's sometimes where I'll check. I'm like, I'm really fans of these people. I'm like, I'll go see their following list. I'm like, <laughs> just in case. Do we have a shot? Yeah, yeah. Um, for, oh, man, that'd be tough. For me, Inter Miami's keeper liked one of our videos. And so if he put Messi on to our content, I'd pass out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Messi would watch one reel and just be like, <laughs> what are we doing? This, why do these humans exist? I want to play football. <laughs> do you know Messi's bodyguard is actually an alien? <laughs> Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Okay, oh yeah, so nobody else has a celebrity. No, I would do. Oh, yeah. like any, like anytime we get a comedian that follows us, it's such a big deal for me. Like yeah. it's such like Dusty Slay when we found out he was falling. That was like how cool. You know, old, old cool. Joey, Joey Rogo. Yeah, I want like someone like an A list, A list, someone out of like like Angelina Jolie is like yeah, huge fan of the pod. Or like, Den- wait, Denzel why? Washington. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, like, that'd be it, sick. Would, it would I'd make no out. sense. Dude, that's my reel today. Something about Whoa. Denzel. I saw that. Oh, did the, you? On vacation thing? Wait. I don't, I don't know anything about it. What are you doing jazz hands for? It's not actually Denzel yes. jazz? It's it's a Denzel uh, impersonation. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. For me, Tim Robinson or... That'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be so cool. Gordon Ramsay or Phil Rosenthal. Mm. You know who's my favorite? Who li- listens to us? Who? Mm. These guys. Oh. Andrew? Everyone who's watching. Oh. Right now. oh. Everyone who's watching. Right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're my favorite. Yeah. They're my favorite. Come up with a really generic name of someone that definitely follows us. Rebecca. John Smith. And Arnold. <laughs> Love Arnold. Hey, Arnold. Arnold. Um, hey, football head. Speaking of Arnold and football heads. Okay. Do you hear what Walmart's doing? Dude. <laughs> No, Don't what? get me started. Listen to this. Okay, so he knows because you're about to convince convert me into a non Walmart person, and I've been Walmart ride or die for the, my whole life. Yeah, dude. Okay, so Walmart really put in the muscle to make all these self checkouts, you right. know, and so firing a ton of staff and stuff, saving so much money. Yeah, and the the whole idea is right is like you're going to save a lot of money because you don't have to hire staff. It's just self checkout. They lost records. In amounts of money record record amounts of money in theft yes yeah like it was like last quarter was like 300 million yeah. or something probably even more than that but now they're coming out with it's called walmart plus so basically they you pay 98 dollars a year in order to be able to use the self-checkout <laughs> <laughs> they Listen. think they're amazon like what? What do they do? That's not gonna work. Going on? <laughs> They're paying you. We're we're paying you to work for you. Yeah. That is that makes no sense. Dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. So like here here's an idea because they can't just like get rid of it because of like the investment the, they've put in it. The yeah. investment, but also like getting that, more staffing and and like, that's where the yeah. future's going. Like they're not going backwards. Like they, they just got to figure out a system that works. And it's gonna get to that point where Amazon they have the cameras where yeah. it registers everything you pick up. Yeah, I know. It's gonna get to that ready. point. Yeah, you know what's so crazy is that I I went to Walmart recently. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. I know. It, I, Are you okay? I did. Is that why you're so upset today? <laughs> Dude, it really did scar me because I went. But here's the thing: is like w- Publix and Target and all that stuff. We're getting literally robbed. It is so astronomically expensive. And I went to Walmart and I was impressed with the prices as usual. Of course. However, I spent about 45 minutes in the line to yeah. the self checkout where the li- I the lines are so out. terrible. They're like it's terrible. Like I'll spend like an hour and a half, two hours, like literally shopping, 
for like the whole two weeks and I'm like it got everything in my cart and then I have to go back. I'm like, I'm not self checking no. checking out yeah. this huge monstrous. Yeah. It's like and then you it's forever. Dude, I went yeah. to Crazy. Walmart a couple days ago to get some fishing stuff. And this is my experience. I hate Walmart too. Yeah. I hate going in there. And on the other side of the aisle, I'm looking at fishing lures and someone takes an air horn and blasts it in his buddy's ear. But I mean, there's a divider between, but I'm me to you. And I mean, like, I almost hit the floor just in, like, <laughs> panic in the Walmart. They, like, ah! they started, they started, <laughs> they, started cussing, they started cussing each other out. And just, like, I was like, yeah, I'm in Walmart. Dude, I need to leave It ASAP. feels like it's actively being looted while you're there. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It, it does feel weird. There's, I saw a video um, of, like, they have the undercover theft protection people now that, like, will just dress like regular civilians and just walk through the stores. And there was this person that, uh. Um, apparently their son was walking around and they saw a person s- putting something in their pocket Oh! and then the kid comes back and it's like, Hey daddy, this person's stealing. And he goes over and he starts videoing. He s- goes up to this guy. He says, Hey, my son says he saw you stealing, putting some stuff in your pocket. And then the guy pulls out <laughs> a little tiny employee badge and goes, I'm theft, I'm theft protection. He's like whispering. He's like, go, 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 go. He's like, what? He's like, I'm, I'm theft. I'm with the store. And you look, it's Dollar Tree. Where everything's a dollar. What? <laughs> and it's like, so they're like, they literally have people planted in there trying to like catch people. And it's like, this is wild, man. It's just getting, yeah. it's getting bonkers. I'll say that when I was in line at my 35th minute, by the way, being <laughs> cut by like men, men were cutting me and are in, hey. in line. Hey, hey. there's my wife. Leave my wife alone. Listen, <laughs> I go, how easy. What they look like? How easily could I literally walk out with this cart right now and not pay for it? Yeah. And I thought. So easily. Yeah. So easily. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would never. Hey, don't cancel me. Oh, hey, don't cancel me. I'm but not going to steal nothing, <laughs> but I might. Oh, <laughs> but don't pat me down. Um, can they even dude, stop you? I mean, they. I don't think they could technically hold you. They have to call yeah. the police, but they can follow you out there and stuff. I've seen videos where they hold on to people, and it's like, this is going to get ugly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not dying for $9 an hour. You can go. I know. I'm I walked not going to get a fist fight. I walked out at the same time as like three other people, and one of us had something that set it off, but we all did the like look at our bag, look at each other, and just – yeah, I go. Th- I going. go with my headphones on. I'm literally just walking out. I'm like, if I hear if someone tackles me, great. No Andy, wonder. that is so crazy that you do that. I know. You're gonna get killed. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Dude, I thought that I was having a stroke. So <laughs> I, I was so confused. Did you see? I, I, was, was, like, I was like a Walmart scenario. <laughs> I was, oh, were you I trying was to do adju- that? No, I was adjusting my jacket <laughs> and the, the it scared me to throw down the thing because it oh slammed all of our triggers went off that, that scared me so bad <laughs> you just oh dove my. down I would go oh. <laughs> so oh. it's shooting <laughs> Lily's over there by herself <laughs> <laughs> that was oh. so funny. That yeah. was so random. <laughs> um, yeah, I bumped the triggers. Speaking of being intimidated, though, I was at the store the other day, mm-hmm. and I was getting in, and this dude didn't look like a guy that you are probably are friends with. Um, <laughs> he was like a, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. Uh, he looks scary. <laughs> um, just this like middle, probably fifty eight ish white dude bald tattoos up his neck on his face yeah all down his arms and he's holding a clear can of gas so you're just describing andy in 20 years <laughs> probably yeah. 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 yeah um oh yeah but missing his two front teeth too okay 10 years and <laughs> i'm like getting in the truck and he steps right here where the door like in between me and the door he's like hey can you um can you give me a ride to save lots i'm like what and he's like i ran i guess i had to go get gas and uh, I just need a, I need a ride. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I, I can't. I can't do that <laughs> today. And he's like, and then probably would have if he was like, would have gone about it probably a little bit, like just knowing your space a little bit. And maybe? he's like, well, do you got cash? I need to get gas. I'm like, you, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, here's 10 bucks. I said, but you won't buy anything bad, will you? He's like, no, I got to get gas. While he's holding a can of gas. Yeah. That's yeah. full. <laughs> I'm like, this is, this, work on your pitch better. Yeah, guy. come on, buddy. This was, this was at Walmart? No, this is just at Publix, like Dang. in the back of the parking lot. Dude. It, was, it was like, I'm usually not intimidated by people, but I was just like, ah. Okay, yeah, that's a little you, That's a little tough. Having a truck, couldn't you just say lay down in the trunk bed? Uh, I just didn't want to do it. 
y'all's public. I mean, I just like I was just like I was literally running through scenarios like, oh, I get there and then like he has like a group of buddies that are just gonna beat me up and yeah. I told I warned your organs. Yeah, we watched that. uh, Take my teeth, probably that Zac Efron Ted Bundy movie last night. Oh, dude! And uh, Kelsey never (laughs) like knew anything about the story or anything like that. So I'm explaining, and I'm like, and I just get fired up because I'm like, and I'm like, and this is why you don't help people with when you're by yourself. Yeah, it's like screw politeness. It's like this guy was like, hey, I got a broken arm in a cast. Can't you tell? Uh, can you help me load my bike into my car? And then no joke. Like, oh, yeah, I'll help you. You're handsome. And then no joke. They get murdered. It's like, don't be polite. Like, listen. if you're scared, listen to those instincts. This day and age, too, man. Can't. You absolutely you can't. can't. It's wild. But the, speaking of Walmart, Disney World is getting just as bad as Walmart now. What are you talking about? Yeah. It's, dude, <laughs> craziness oh, yeah, what I yeah. witnessed. Uh, did I tell you about it? No. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're at Disney world last a week with some friends and one hilarious. They go in with a, a, without the lever on their bucket thing, the little handle. Um, so they're like, Hey, can we go, can we, do you guys give out free ones? And they're like, sure. And they grab like a brand new bucket and they tear off the like handle a popcorn on, bucket. The popcorn, I know, Kelsey yeah, they, told like, me this yeah. story. And then she, and then they throw the bucket away and they hand them the handle. It's so wacky. And it's like, you don't care. Oh, uh, anything about plastic. It's baloney, but yeah. We're walking and it's uh, getting late at night and we hear some, you know, screaming and, you know, just yelling and stuff. I see a drink fly Uh and there's this young teenage girl and her, uh, what I would assume to be a grandmother. She was very, uh, very elderly standing right next to her. There, it looks like they were fighting over this drink or something. The drink goes flying. It was the teenage girl's drink. The teenage girl looks towards her grandma and literally does that right up alongside the head, like a punch right there in the middle of disney world and then just storms away and i audibly just go oh a fight i'm like trying to figure out exactly i was like i was like i would have we have to freaking pull this chick off and she starts fighting but she walked away and it's like that was so scary it was like straight up walmart fight at disney world dude a fight in the most magical place on earth dude when you're walking in those crowds of people and just hearing people (laughs) yelling yeah dude i ran somebody over i was pushing my nieces and they're double wide stroller <clears throat> and there was this lady who kept looking back i could tell she was trying to like cut in front but she was one of those aggressive people who like keeps on and so i like i did the math i was like my nieces are far enough inside this stroller i was like if she literally tries to step over it i was like i'm just gonna run and literally like ran up her calf with the stroller <laughs> and and she like stumbled and tripped off to the side and i just kept walking straight <laughs> Dude, I, I, I ran somebody over. This is the uh, one dude. time I pushed a stroller in Disney. I don't have kids, so that was my experience. And I was like, I, yeah. Accidentally yeah, no. nipping someone on the heels with a stroller. This was on purpose. I would, I would much rather die. I was like, <laughs> I hate that feeling because I'm like, I'm literally so sorry. I'm like, and then it happened twice one time to the same person. And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do this. It was so much. Dude, Disney it's just it just stresses me out. It brings so much. out the worst in people too. Yeah, I mean, if you go there expecting a terrible time, like it, like it's gonna be terrible, like terrible crowds, terrible lines, it's gonna be hot. It's all good. <laughs> you just gotta expect it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this last time I, I did good. Uh, you did great. I just, I just thought, who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> we had so much fun. If yeah. I lose one kid, we still have another kid. We're fine. We have Plan B over there. I but mean, you know, Jane. Do you know two thousand kids go missing out of Disney every year? Is that true? That's Whoa. what Google says. I mean, I was thinking about that while we were there with you guys, and I was like, it makes sense. It like it's how would you yeah. stop it? I yeah. mean, like there's I yeah. don't know, it doesn't make because sense. It's so easy. They could just grab your kid and just leave the park. Dude, we should try it. I we, remember <laughs> being a kid. I have no. an idea. We go to our go to the park and each of us is tasked to steal one of our kids. I can't play that game. <laughs> <laughs> and we have and so we, I have to be we have to just figure it out and we'll see how easy it is. Yeah. Demi, Demi would come with us willingly. Yeah, instantly. She's like, heck yeah, you guys are cool. All right, yeah, I'll go. I remember being a little kid and I went to Disney with my uncle and his girlfriend and I thought I was following them and I ended up following this other couple. <laughs> Home alone? Around the park. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I don't know if they ever told my parents that. Do you remember the fear of losing your parents in like a store and stuff? Oh, yeah. You're just like, do, 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 do. Obviously, you grew up with it. I guess like, <laughs> where's he at <laughs> Where, where's my just dad constant our beat um but yeah i just remember that like fear i'll never forget that fear yeah mom we, dude there was uh <laughs> where are you you're just in the electronics department <laughs> look that was the cool thing about walmart in the 90s you ever go there when oh, you yeah, were kids yeah. and they had the freaking 64 you could, you could play games in the game like dude yeah, yeah. like your neck would be broke <laughs> yeah. some crash bandicoot yeah the oh, tv's man. like right there yeah, it's like, like literally eight feet above you 
there was always that kid who would never like <laughs> let someone else have a turn. Yeah, it's like yeah, like oh, yeah. the kid that was probably being neglected, and their yeah. parents would just drop them off. That would be like their babysitter. <laughs> so we'll be back. I'll be back at five o'clock. Just play video games. Uh, Grab some deli snacks. Speaking of deli snacks, don't say it. No, but did you uh, see the other day? Um, oh, what, what was his name? Um, we have an ad. Don't go anywhere. Nicholas. Yeah. <laughs> we can't hear you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> have you heard about our swag that we're dropping on SundayCoolSwag.com? No, I have not. You sound so different, Nicholas. Thank you. Yeah, so we if you guys go to SundayCoolSwag.com. And do what? <laughs> purchase our merch. We have like a whole bunch of designs. We have new designs popping up every month. I don't believe you. Go. Why don't you go check it out? Fine, I will. Why don't you go check it out, Andy? Fine, I will. I knew it was you the whole time. Yeah, okay, so what? What's the big deal? I can't make some voices every now and then? Then you're just making this not fun. No, you're making, you're being a jerk about this, man. No, I'm trying to be fun. No, you're being over dramatic. You're, you're, being. you're the one not making it fun. I'm just, I was making it fun. I was, I was talking through a pillow. How is that not fun? She seems like she's having the best time ever, huh? I'm so done with this, dude. No. Look at you guys having a great time. We are. SundayCoolSwag.com. Cheer up, Charlie. Cheer up, Charlie. The sun is shining. Grandpa Joe's a jerk. <laughs> what a lazy bum, dude. I knew that was coming. Me you, too. You didn't. You Me didn't. Me too. <laughs> Look at him. He never misses. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, He's got the fastest transitions and segues in all the land. <sighs> Wasn't that ad fun? Uh, Sure. I guess. If you want to call that fun. Why wouldn't you? You know why. I don't know. I mean, I know you had fun. I didn't. Okay. Tell me why you didn't have fun. No. I think, I think we all get it. Mm-hmm. I think we all get it. Right, Lil? It just seemed like Lily yeah. had a little too much fun. Chill. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Um. Mm. Anyways, what you, what you doing over there? Nothing. Lily. <laughs> <laughs> like a beaten puppy. Nothing. And nothing. What's, sweetie, what's wrong? What's wrong, boo-boo? What would make you feel better? Massage. Or? Corey! He's a massage guy in the office. Or, you know what would make her feel better? <gasps> question, question corner, corner, question corner, corner question corner, corner with Lily. Lily where the questions, questions are fresh on her mind, mind, even if she's grumpy. Okay. Did we talk about the Tyson Paul fight? Yes. On the last podcast? A bit. Yes. Oh, okay. So let's recap real quick. Who we think is going to win? Mike Tyson and Jake Paul are fighting each other, but Jake Paul's allowed to tag his brother Logan in. He's allowed to wear a helmet, but Mike Tyson isn't. He's allowed to do drugs. Like uh, there's no testing. The, yeah, oh. there's no drug testing. <laughs> He's allowed to do, <laughs> or he has to do drugs. <laughs> and it's just a completely unequal fight, and it's actually maddening. It's actually probably going to turn out to be super equal. I don't now. think it's un, uh, like I don't think it's obviously like unequal. I think there are obviously advantages, but I don't know if it's. Do you know how, I mean, he's not even trash talking. Mike Tyson right now because I think he's actually afraid. <laughs> he probably yeah, is. He should be. Yeah, you I mean, like no joke. He all the jokes that he made about like Connor and his wife and Connor's wife. Mm -hmm. and it's like now he's not even touching Mike Tyson. Yeah, <laughs> you saw what Mike Tyson said about like people accusing him of taking a trash fight for money. No, he said, he said I'm not doing this for money. He said I'm doing this to end his career. I'm doing this in his career. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I'm doing this in his career. But basically, he like sided with boxing. He's like, I'm tired of these fights. I want to retire him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I hope he just goes all out. Yeah. That's the fun part. I mean, if it's just a show, it's not going to be fun. Then it's like, then you're no better than WWE at that point. Listen, you can still get knocked out wearing one of those head, headgear things. A hundred percent. Iron Mike, Iron Mike Tyson. Yeah. The baddest man on the planet. That's what he said. He said he's going to send him to the WWE like his brother. <laughs> Use the chair. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Hey, Tyson has a chair. They just keep on adding like uh, <laughs> stipulations where like, Jake, you can actually use a chair now in the fight <laughs> Jake, at any point. You can have a knife. And Mike Tyson will be blindfolded 
Also, there's it's a ladder match. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Royale. Um, what was your question? It is. <laughs> as the Tyson versus Paul fight approaches, what celebrity matchup slash grudge match would you pay to go see? Ooh. Nice. This is from Doomslug93 from our Patreon users. Nice. nice. Hey, thanks, Patreon. Thanks, Patreon. I would, uh, I don't, let me think about it. I don't want to answer too quick. I think mine would be Ron DeSantis versus Vladimir Putin. Mm. I feel like there's a better representation of America, of America than I don't DeSantis. think it's not America. But it's Florida. Putin, yeah. But you did do the president of Russia. I think there's like, I think there's like a bum in Kissimmee that we could like, that would have a better chance yeah. to fight Putin. <laughs> yeah. Some guy that's just it's hard to ready fight. to go. It's hard to fight. Heels. Also, no, but uh, congratulations True. to Vladimir Putin who just won the election again for the like the millionth time and definitely wasn't rigged at all. So and congrats. It's not like the voters, yeah. they were sitting here like this. <laughs> no, but did you actually see that? There was reports from one of the independent journalists I follow that there was people in certain parts of Russia. Protesting. Where no, they were forced to vote at gunpoint. Really? Wow. Yes. Jeez Louise. Don't know that's true. Hey, don't know. Don't, don't don't tell me. Kevin Costner versus Vladimir Putin. Ooh. Dude, cool. Yellowstone versus what would be another stone? Yellowstone um, versus Philosopher Stone. <laughs> Putin stone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Poopy stone. I don't um know stone. my my first thought was like uh Guy Fieri and like Gordon Ramsay. Nice. Uh, like just like that would be such a fun actual celebrity match that I think people would pay to see. Dude, yeah. Gordon would whoop. He 100% would. You never know though. Guy Fieri's got that fire in him. Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to definitely do Elon Musk versus Zuckerberg just cuz I want that to happen. Yeah. I hope I hope it happens. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I was thinking of that too. The Elon and Musk. I mean the Elon and Zuckerberg. <laughs> Who would I want to choose? I don't know. I'm ch- I'm blanking. Um, Elon versus Musk would actually be good. Let's the human do, versus the machine that he's created himself to be. Mm. Mm. Let's do. Um, Are you guys celebrities? Don, what's his name? Don Lemon. Don't ask my manager. Don Lemon. Don Lemon. Yeah, the reporter. Yeah. Yeah. Him. <laughs> Elon and Elon. Because did you see the interview? <laughs> yeah, there? dude, it was crazy. Listen yeah. to this. Listen to this. So Don Lemon got fired from CNN, right? I don't know who that is. The um, he's glasses. a black reporter. Uh, I don't think he wears glasses. Um, he does sometimes, but not like really. middle aged. You you recognize him as soon as you see him. Hold on. Did he do that interview where he was crying or the? Rep- no, that wasn't him. <laughs> no. Oh okay. Yeah, he was fired from CNN, right? Yeah. And he started his own show. I think it's called like the Don Lemon Show or something. It's a good name. Like Tucker Carlson, how he started his own show. And Elon was going to let him host his show on X like he did with Tucker Car- Carlson. Yeah. And Don Lemon chose for his first interview to be with Elon Musk and was questioning everything about what Elon Musk was doing. Like talking about freedom of speech and like. And not like in an interview way where it's like, hey. No, I, kind of accusatory. Uh, like Very biased, very, yeah. very biased questions. Elon got so mad. He, he te- apparently texted Don Lemon and said, contract canceled. Basically, he's not allowing him on X anymore. Your but, bitter is showing, Musk. But no, it was like I the mean, questions you like. There were some things where it's like you're just you're trying to put me in a spot to say something. Or you're try, trying, to trying to manipulate really my make sayings. him look bad. Yeah, like. All right, but. If we're talking about it at its core, the freedom of speech, thing? freedom of speech, and now he's denying him his freedom of that's, speech well, just because he had a conversation. That we he can didn't do. Like. I'm sure he could post on there still, but he, the ex will not pay just, him to I have see. a show. That on. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a partnership type of thing, and it's like, yeah. yeah, he was coming at him, but it's like, but not in a, I don't know, a good journal way. You can ask tough yeah. questions, yeah. and not be disrespectful. Yeah, true. And it's like that's the whole thing. You got to carry yourself right. You got to use those the right questions and you came off really wrong and it's like, cool. That's not how you treat a business partner. I, I can imagine that. Yeah. And if you ever talk to me that way, you won't be able to uh, post on YouTube ever again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Deal. That's, no, that's fair. Deal. 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 <laughs> Deal. Deal. Um, Check my hand. Uh, so we, the t- the question, wait, I'm, I'm going too fast. <laughs> Give us a beat there, Andrew. Shoot. We'll see if it's still on there. We'll go with whatever it is. <laughs> Move Andrew out the way. Hands are real. No. Yeah, that was dumb. Give us a real give us a beat. 
Oh. Yeah? No. No. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Andrew has yeah. a real. Andrew has a real. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got Andrew a real to show us. It's going to be good. I hope so. If it's not, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I don't totally, know. I just gonna, totally yeah. forgot what trigger that was. Um, It's sending. It's stuck in cell phone. Yeah, this dude does an impersonation of Denzel, but actually becomes Denzel, and it's freaky. Oh, like they did like a the face swap or whatever? No. Just watch this thing. Huh? All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Hey, who's doing volume? Hey, 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 hey. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. We've Will. been doing this for 84 episodes. Hold on. Start from the beginning. Three. Lily. Two. One. Lily turns into Denzel. And it's just a train, but Denzel's so good, he goes, are we going to stop that train? All right. So, uh. We don't stop it. It's the face swap, dude. Yeah, train. that's face swap. Uh, right? How do you know? Wait, a hundred percent. Wait, because that's Godfrey. Wait. He's a comedian. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a face swap thing. No, that's because then it, right? it switches wait. back. Is actually yeah. that's it switches a thousand, back. A thousand wait. percent. I promise you, that's Godfrey. He has, he's famous for Denzel impressions. They switch his fate. He's very good. Thought he was stretching his face out. <laughs> no, they did the face swap. No. Yes. Yes. Though. There's no way you could just like, all right, I'm Denzel now. <laughs> let me. I, get, I got, Let I got. me tell you guys about this thing. It's called AI. Yeah. It's really, really <laughs> crazy what they can do with people's faces now. Guys, let's dive into AI. Hey, I got one more just for Lily. Uh oh. It's on the way. Let's go into space real quick. Coming back down. Elon, we need it quick. Coming back down. What do you think that does to our bodies? Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Where's the volume? It should be there. No, it's not there. Anyways, oh. that chick can't blink. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I hate that. That her contacts froze to her eyes. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Forever? Uh, Forever. Yeah. She's dead. She's she died. Not, she's literally unable to blink. Oh. Yeah, just thought you'd relate Feels to that. Feels like that right now. But you are blinking. You could close your eyes. She can't. She's stuck with her eyes open forever. Just yeah, do this. that's actually You're terrifying. <laughs> that would be yeah, scary. Yeah. Just laying in bed. Would your eyes just like <sighs> crystallize and just like shatter? I mean, they ah. have to be moistened, right? So like, if you don't blink, you yeah, don't they say fall that out. Word, and they, they blow up. What? Don't say that word. Unalive. Um, you can oh, say no. die. No, you said moistened, and I didn't. Oh, moisten. Moisten. <laughs> Moisten. Moisten. Oh, moisten. Oh, moisten. <laughs> um, Give me some moisten up in here. Speaking of moisten, don't like that word. <laughs> um, uh, the title, our title, the question, the moon. The moon. Let's talk about the moon. Okay. <gasps> Is it real? And have we been there? <laughs> um, the solar eclipse is coming up. Yeah. April 8th. Which is in three days. Which is in three days. Yeah. Three days from when this podcast comes out. Um, I came across a story that was insane, and I've never heard of it, and you think that we would have learned about it in at some point in our lives. And it's about events that happened in the years 1811 and 1812. 1811 and 1812. Um. There was this Indian Native American chief, mm -hmm. and his name was uh, uh, how did you say it early? T Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Yeah, we learned about him in school. Tecumseh. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember what. Okay, well, Tecumseh was a uh, hit what they wrote down was a Native American mystic, warrior, military leader of the Shawnee tribe. Yes. And his name means shooting star mm -hmm. and, or he who walks across the sky. Oh, cool. He had a brother who everyone called the prophet. And it was like kind of like a Native American cult, if you will. And he made this prediction in 1806 that there was going to be events that transpire after a solar eclipse. And he called the solar eclipse the black sun. And he said that there will be a great battle after the black sun, which is to come very soon. 
But then. How do you know about it? He's the prophet. He's the prophet. He's a hey. mystic. He walks on the stars. Um, yep. Uh, so he predicted that, right? But in March 1811, something appears in the sky, which was called the Great Comet or the Tecumseh Comet, mm. or as they referred into in Europe, they referred to it as the Napoleon Comet. Oh, because Napoleon was going on at the same time. Mm-hmm. But this comet was seen all around the world, and it was huge, and the people were terrified of it. Oh, geez. Because they said at night, it was the brightest thing in the sky, and you could even see it during the daytime. Wow. And the thing, so like when there's a meteor or a comet, you know, there's like the light that bends around it. Yeah. It's called the coma. Look that up. Knowledge. Knowledge. Um, <laughs> but they said the coma or like the head of this comet was a million miles wide. What? 50 times bigger than the sun. Where is it now? It gone. I'm a there. million miles wide. 50 That's times, crazy. 50 times bigger than the sun. So this just appeared in March. And everyone's like, what? Right? Terrifying. Um, so it appeared in March. And then in September, September 17th in 1811, there was a solar eclipse that happened almost on the same path that this coming solar eclipse is about to happen. Yikes. Like, so it went across basically like the Midwest and kind of shot up towards like New York. Okay. Um, There's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Uh, everyone was like, that's wild, whatever. Uh, but on October 20th, 1811, the comet passed its closest closest trajectory towards <laughs> Earth. Oh, well, Mike Tyson came out. Yeah. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, this comet was crazy, y'all. Hey, that was pretty good, <laughs> right? Really- um, so after it got super close to the Earth on... October of 1811. Two months later, in December, December 16th, 1811, there was massive er earthquakes Uh that happened in the New Madrid fault line. So that's New Madrid, Missouri, right? Didn't know this existed until... Yeah, last place I would have guessed this is where it is. Apparently, it's a major fault line. (laughs) And so after the solar eclipse happened, and after this comet came super close to the Earth this fault line shifted Uh-oh. and so and created Joplin. <laughs> no. Uh, but when it shifted, um, the earthquakes that happened were they said on record, the worst earthquakes America's ever experienced. Wow. One of them being a magnitude 8.8. What's the scale? 10. 10. And like three is huge. <gasps> And like, and something seven is like catastrophic. And now, so like that's, you're getting up to like 8.8 world ending almost. But what was weird was these earthquakes happened in between, uh, December of 1811 through the spring of 1812. It was just consistently shaking. They said there's over 10,000 earthquakes that happened during oh that time frame. My and there were the aftershock. And they stuff, were yeah. so violent in the aftershocks. This happened, this fault line stuff was like in Missouri, right? They said the bells in like Boston were ringing for like a week straight. What's an aftershock? That's what. So earthquake and then like the shock that comes out from it. Because it could be hours after, depending on how big it is or where it's at. I don't know what you're trying to say. Literally, it's just tiny earthquakes after the major Uh, earthquake. Yeah. So Think about a pool. If you push a wave, it hits the other side and then comes back. So you have Uh. the initial impact and then. So that's that's what's almost worse because if the the main earthquake doesn't knock down buildings, yeah. the aftershock is like it's like who knows how bad that's going to be. And so everyone still has to be evacuated, and has to be taking a lot of measures for it. So oh wow, yeah. But some crazy phenomenons were happening during these earthquakes, and I want to read a couple of them. There's called something called earthquake lights, and it's lights flash from the ground caused by quartz crystals being squeezed. So there's literally just like lightning coming from the ground, like th- and like Dude. I'm like. What are you talking about? How that's scary. what I'm talking about. Like I'm th- I learned all this stuff yesterday. Like how- this this is historical stuff. Dude, how terrifying would that be back then? Not knowing anything, seeing the comet, the you've never felt an earthquake before, and you're in the middle of Missouri. Yeah, you're just like you're just chilling, camping in Missouri, and suddenly the earth cracks open and there's lightning coming through. Like that's insane. Yeah, the world is ending. Yeah, it's you're done. Coming is happening. The Mississippi River ran backwards for several several hours. So from the ocean north? 
Yes. So it literally changed direction for hours. And when that happened, <laughs> Get it. I mean, they were talking like these locals and stuff said the earth was literally opening up, swallowing trees and forests. One of them, this uh, Native American village, this giant Native American village was completely swallowed up in this earthquake. Do you think that's where that phrase came from? Where like there, somebody says, I wish the earth would swallow me up right now. Probably. I guess so. From um, that time. Yeah, probably. But there's also something the uh, with the, these earthquakes earthquake smog and what that is it says the sky turned dark during the earthquake so dark that lighted lamps didn't help the air smelled bad and it was hard to breathe like Um, sulfur yeah it was just dark sulfur and they said like literally if you had a light like a lantern you couldn't see it it was that dark so all this is happening my scary (laughs) they said that there's literally thunder from happening the earth. from the earthquake just so you're seeing light lightning come from the ground villages being swallowed up thunder dark smog a giant comet like your world like it's the end of the world right yeah dude but they also said that the lot of locals said that um there's a ton of animal warnings before that oh they knew yeah so they said wild animals became like domesticated yeah they were coming in their houses and then domestic animals were acting like wild animals and they said that geese and ducks would come and land like on people and by people. Just weird stuff. What are we going to do? Hmm? We're getting swallowed too. What are you talking about? The geese and the ducks are like, yo, help me out. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We're not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> but this, there's one story. It was the first steamboat to ever go down the Mississippi. Got went to the other direction? Well, it was going down and he was with his family. It was a... Uh, him, his wife, his two daughter or two year old daughter, and their dog, and on December sixteenth, they were two hundred miles from uh, New Madrid, Missouri, mm-hmm. and so they didn't feel the shocks because they were like in the, the water. water. But then the further downstream they went, they just noticed like everything starting to move, and like the river was like swallowing itself, and a bunch of Native Americans were like shooting arrows and stuff at him because they thought they called it the fire boat was causing the earth to shake. So they thought this steamboat was causing all this stuff. Wow. Oh, no. Um, but they said that the further they went down, everything was just forced were just completely swallowed up by the earth leveled. Um, and at night they tied off to like an Island that was on the river. The next morning, the Island was gone. <gasps> so, I mean, you're, it's just terrifying, right? Um, I just thought it was crazy, man. I've never heard this story ever. They said it was the biggest earthquakes America has ever seen, the longest duration of earthquakes the world has ever seen. But what was crazy about this great comment thing was it's, um, what do they call it? Uh, orbit? Yeah. So when it appears and when it uh, goes away. Hold on, where's the date? Um, bah, 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 bah. Are you implying that this is going to happen again with this solar eclipse? In three days. I'm getting there. I'm kidding. This orbit, or the orbit of this great comet, happens every 3,065 years. So the last time Earth, people on Earth saw this comet, what they saw in 1811, was during the time of King Ramses II in Egypt. How do we know that? Don't know. Um, but that was also the time of Moses. Which I found super Shut interesting. Shut up. Yeah. <gasps> like I'm thinking of like the the plagues. The plagues, the sky going dark and I don't know. It was I just thought that was a weird connection. Yeah. That's the only connection I made with it. Yeah, no, I mean there's um, a ton of no, weird that's stuff. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. But we actually have a comet that is going around Earth right now that will be most visible on April eighth. Guys. But it has Guess, a good name. It's it's called a happy comet. Guess what this comment is oh. called? What? The Devil Comment. Oh my gosh, Andy. And this comment, listen to this. This comment, it's called the Devil Comment because it appears to have two horns on it. Yeah, fair. Or the Pac Man Comment. This comment was first discovered in 1812. Josh, quit saying it out loud because <laughs> it'll come true. And it has a 71 year orbit. So basically, I did the math of 2024, and you take away 71, 71, 71. It was 1811. 
Wow. When they first, when this comet first appeared at Earth, but this comet will be. They said it will probably be visible during the daytime during the eclipse. What wow. does this mean for me? Because I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Um. So there's that. Well, scary. Dude, it's so um, funny you mentioned that though, because like. I was literally just seeing a TikTok. It was crazy. You're going to love this. They're fighting steamboat ships 50 feet under the ground in Kansas fields. That's from this. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's blowing my mind. Like, I didn't put those two together, but there's literally pictures of there's so many of that. It's that, from this earthquake, that dude. Literally, that, that's wild to me. Yeah. You no, know, something, the Midwest just seems like a perilous place to live. It, it does seem brutal. It's also. Boring. Strong people, strong, and it's yeah. also probably m the majority of our uh, audience. So be careful, <laughs> all right. And they have guns, a lot of them. All right. <laughs> um, can I can I add some doom since you brought up Moses? Sure. All right. This is uh, <clears throat> Moses speaking. Um, Moses said, "This is how that you will know the Lord has sent me to do all these things, and that it was not my idea. If these men die a natural death and experience only what is." what usually happens to men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord brings about something totally new and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them with everything that belongs to them and they go down alive to the grave, then you will know that these men have treated the Lord with contempt. And as soon as he finished saying all this, the ground under them split apart. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them with their households. Opened its mouth. That's wild. That's wild. Because the last time this comment was here on earth or seen on earth was during the time of Moses. That's from number 16. That's wild. Wow. But the warnings that the news in uh, different states, is this boring you? No. Because <laughs> listen up, it's getting crazy. If we turn this light off, I'd be better. Put on your sunglasses. This, the warnings Good that idea. the news is putting out. Do you remember the um, solar eclipse that happened in 2017? Yes. But the news are like, Hey, make sure you wear the right sunglasses because they sell fake sunglasses and don't stare at the sun for too long. Yeah, they fry your eyes. The warnings this time are make sure you have gas in your car. <gasps> what? Make sure you have at least two to three weeks of food and water. Make sure you have know where your family's at. So if you need to contact them, make sure you have an AM FM radio. Have a printable map. Have a printable map. That's what they said, like a paper map. I'm like, oh no, we're going in the wrong direction. They're giving out warnings. Oh, and... They issued the National Guard to be in these cities during the eclipse. Is it because it might fry our grids? There, there's, um, there's a couple of... Get your chickens. There's a couple of theories. I'm stealing yours. No, you can't even get to us. There are pirates on the way. I am a pirate. That's the thing. One of my True. theories is that we're going to experience something catastrophic again, yeah. like this earth opening up. Yeah. Another theory is that... With the um, increase of people crossing our borders, there's going to be such a concentration of people out in the open that there's going to be an attack on mm. them, which is yeah creepy. Um, and then another theory, well, then another another theory is then that's when Russia is going to launch that EMP attack. Yeah. But then there's another theory that this paper was written. Uh, by an Air Force captain in 2015 talking about, it was basically a warning of how the sun's poles are going to flip, mm -hmm. which I, apparently does that every 11 years. Yeah. But this one, they're predicting is going to be way worse. And when it does that, the um, electric magnetic pulse that it puts off is like so intense, but it like almost, it like always misses earth. But they're saying there's a good chance that it's going to hit earth Whoa. this time. And he says, our magnetic field is 40% weaker than it has been. He said, in the past 400 years, our, the Earth's magnet, magnetic field has decreased 40%. So, like, if what does it, that mean? Basically, it would be the sun having an EMP attack on, on Earth. us. Which so is what happened in, like, knowing, right? Similar. And then that's why the theory is all these billionaires are building bunkers. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Guys, we got to get our acts together. Well, we got till April 8th. Yep, yep. we got it. Three, Three days. days from now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, all right. Go um, to Rural King. Chickens, come on. Reproduce. But I'm not saying that to scare anyone. 
but I'm scared. <laughs> no, I mean, I think I'm not scared, but I'm just like, dude, if something happens, but did you see those little sort, those sawfish that are going crazy dude, in Florida right that. now oh, that are yeah. huge sawfish that don't normally come up on top of water, especially near the bay are literally coming up and shaking their heads, doing, going in circles, beaching themselves. Even fish in aquariums in Florida are freaking out. It's called yeah. spinning and it's just, fish disease, I think, is what they're calling it now. Well, yeah, but it's, I, I, I mean, we see all that with the animals acting different. It's like, this is, I don't like this. Here's but, something that I, wouldn't be half bad, though. What if Florida split off? And we became an island? And we were the next Cuba. Mm. With no missiles or crises. <laughs> We gotta have one or the other. That would be great. One, you gotta have one. We just turn and into a big. Crazy. We turn into a big Tommy Bahama resort. <laughs> Please, R.I.P. Jimmy Buffett. But did you oh. also see, like in America, there's a bunch of like uh, uh, cattle herds, 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 and like sheep herds. Yep. And they also called a, ca- a cackle. Flock. A cackle. Uh, a cackle flock. Of sheep. <laughs> um, but the people are getting it on like their like outdoor cameras. Like at night and stuff, they literally gather in a circle and they just are walking in circles Stop constantly. I don't this like is that. So weird. So weird. I thought that was a thing that happens to them. They'll get stuck in like a doom loop because yeah, they I don't know. following <laughs> the next. Yeah. Like the shepherd's job is to stop that when he sees it. Dude, oh, really? Yeah. Me too, though. That's what I'm going to start calling. <laughs> doom loop? Doom I, loop. <laughs> I've been doom looping for like 48 hours. That's what I just the call fish? when I get on TikTok. I'm just like, mm. <laughs> dude, the fish thing, though, is nuts. I watched a thing on it this morning. This guy who lives in the Keys, he's like, normally the news blows. Oh, the algae bloom is destroying everything. He was like, a lot of those stories get blown out of proportion, but he runs a fishing uh, YouTube channel and mm-hmm. he's a charter captain and he was like this isn't fake it's called the spinning disease but it's not just the sawfish it's little it's bait fish that are doing it now yeah. it's stingrays coming up in there it's like affecting all sorts of fish but the crazy thing is they've tested them and all of the like toxins and chemicals and blooms and the things that they expect to like cause problems like red tide and stuff they're not finding them so mm-hmm. they're like we don't know we have no idea why it, they, they were it. like, it seems like extreme vertigo. Yeah. We don't have an explanation right now but for why hundreds of miles apart, life. hundreds of miles apart. Animals are like doing the exact same thing. So it was like, I don't understand how this I don't, is. Yeah. I how, don't know how can all affect one species or one area. That's yeah. they in, in the keys specifically, they can trace the spinning fish thing. It started in this particular region region after a blob of sediment arrived. They don't know where it came from, but they, but they're like, we can't detect in the fish what that is. But that is weird if other weird. stuff is happening with other animals elsewhere. I mean, it, it would make sense because we talked about the Adam and Eve theory of the Earth's poles yeah. reversing. But mm-hmm. even if they shift, the whole gravitational force pull animals get thrown off, right? Mm-hmm. But along with that are earthquakes, Dude. tsunamis, yeah. terrible weather. and. That's the thing. Like when we read about these huge earthquakes, like the 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 worst year in history, that one where it was like it covered darkness over the whole earth for a year. Yeah, like the volcano. Yeah. We have all of these things um, that we read about that are just history. But it's like, what is stopping an earthquake from happening and swallowing yeah, yeah. up all, and and flooding a city full of five million people? Like, what even like we we just think that will never happen because yeah. it's like, oh yeah, that did happen. Yeah, because that's the path. It's like yeah. Mother Nature don't care, and so like oh, that's yeah. my. That's my word. It's like, what's the next big thing? I mean, Iceland even even had their biggest uh, volcano from the beginning of the year. Their fourth and their one. earthquake, that thing that the like the whole two mile just, wide just Apparently, split open. Yeah, just right right over like in open highways. Tourism's now canceled I think it's for a lot of areas. And I think this line, this solar um, eclipse, I think there's going to be something crazy. Dude, and that's just life, isn't it? <laughs> that's life. When you put on glasses, you change. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like hey, that's live, isn't it? You're just so cool with them. Like, you're just, hey man, I'm that's just, just live, right? Cool all the time. It's all right, right, right. I will say, I'm going home right now. I'm getting 20 chicks and some rabbits and stuff. <laughs> um, 20 chicks, some rabbits and stuff. Hey, but so, so me. If there's an EMP, can Andy still use his electric bike? <laughs> no, no, I can't. Probably not. If I'll it's charged cool. ahead of time, yeah. So if, if it fries all the chips and. That's what would have happened if I got struck by lightning on the bike, though. I would have gone really fast. <laughs> How are you getting to our house? I'm telling you, I'm I'm, I'm going to be the pirate. Like, you're going to be on your way to Umatilla to go in your guys' little retreat, um, little property, and you're going to get stopped, and you're going to be so scared. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. And you're going to put your face down, and then Josh will be like, chill. It's fine. Good. And there's, like, guy with a bandana covered in, like, Mad Max stuff, and you're going to hear a knock on the window. 
and I'm going to do this. And you're going to roll down your window. I'm like, hey, what's up, guys? Give me all your money. Realistically, <laughs> we can't make the journey out to Umatilla for like a few months because we need to prepare. Mm. And there's no structures out there. So do we even go? Mm. My, my philosophy is find some place close to water. Well, we are close to water. I mean, oh, like, like can get away water, like coast. Oh. Can't get away on a lake. Else. Just paddling a canoe through the That's what we're finally going to do, the yeah. chain of lakes. But it'll be for survival. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, but great. The, cha- the chain where it's like uh, the canal with all the meth houses. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most perilous <laughs> area. There's yeah. no way. That's yeah. where the pirates will be. Dude, and he's going to become their king. <laughs> Hey, give us your food. I will take over the Dora Canal. That will be my, <laughs> like, that'll be my property, my territory. Um, None shall pass. I'll be the troll under the bridge. Oh It'll my be gosh. perfect. Scary. I definitely think. Um, we'll wait for you is what I'm saying, but you have about a month to get to okay, us. Okay, good. I think I was trying to tell us something. Yeah, I mean, there's I mean, a lot he, of. He, he uses the moon and sun and stars like. Like for signs and seasons, dude. Yeah, and that's and the thing. Like, what what of in nature is random and what isn't? Because the solar eclipses, those seems it seems like it should have some significance. Yeah, and again, those people that went off on like it's passing over two cities named Nineveh mm-hmm. yeah. um, is a sign for everyone in the nation needs to repent. I don't know. I don't know. I think. I but think. I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily buy into that. There was a sign Super that fast. we all need to be, re- we need to repent and that's in the Bible. We need, that's yeah, very yeah. clear. It's like, the, don't be, put, much don't be putting yeah. stuff in there. It's like, yeah. Um, dude, but, I'm, I'm so sorry. I got to pee. Oh, go for it. But dude, if the red heifer is sacrificed on April 8th, <laughs> I'm just going to be like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> time. Let's Buckle go. Up. Okay. Now I have a dark question. Okay. Ooh. Somebody said this and I, I need to do a deep dive into revelation. I want to do like a study guide and stuff like that. Maybe in a Bible study. But is it true that if you are not raptured with the group, you have to be martyred to be saved? There's, there's a lot of... <laughs> that is a dark question. <laughs> um, I, no. I mean, there's there's so many different... People interpret Revelation a thousand ways. Yeah. There's so many... Th- Some people don't even believe that a rapture is going to happen. Yeah. I also don't think God cares about technicalities. No. So it's like... We, we could say whatever we want, but in, in the end of the day, at the end of the day, we control what we control and that's nothing. You go with, you go with your conviction thing. and you yeah. do what you got to do, but I don't know. Either way, I'm going to be a jester in the, the, the post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic life. Yeah. So, yeah, and I'm saying this too. I hope nothing happens <laughs> during this eclipse or after this eclipse. Do this. Honestly, I'm, but I'm, I'm after randomly coming across this story in 1811, these earthquakes and the, the, I mean, it was almost exactly the same path. Mm. And this solar uh, eclipse is literally passing over uh, New Amsterdam. Or right, Amsterdam, is that what it's called? No, New Madrid, it, sorry. New Madrid. Yeah. Got it. Um, Another European city. You know, like doing that. Hey, crazies. Um, but I don't know, man. I, how would you feel if, like, uh, if they're like, hey, three months, there's a meteor coming, 100 mile, million miles wide, we're done for. Would you be bummed out about that? Would you be like, yes. would it just be like the worst thing in the world? Or would you be kind of like, okay, let's have a great four months. I would be sad more, more so for just like the girl, like our kids. Yeah, and stuff. That's yeah. the yeah. toughest part. Yeah, yeah. That's the toughest part is not. But in reality, it's just like. Hey. If it was just you and me, we would have so much fun. But yeah. It's I, a blast. I would, I would be, I would mourn their childhood. But you know, something is that. It's so much better on the other side. We just don't know. I think it's that fear of the unknown that we all, as believers, are are you know susceptible to because yeah. we don't because we don't know what's next. We don't know how what that crossing is going to look like. Yeah, you also can't just our human brains can't fathom eternity. Yeah, yeah, you know. But what we do know is that the promise is that it's better. And I have a hard. I lo- I like saying I know. But it's like I know it with everything in me. Like I feel like I believe it more than I actually believe myself exists. Yeah. That like there is something after. Oh yeah. This isn't it. And so, but it's like it's so. It's, I know it's hard for people that don't believe, like, to say I know. Yeah. But it's like I feel like I know. Yeah. But then it's like, but you know, like, life wasn't wasted no matter what. I know that I want to be with Jesus. Yeah. And so to be on the other side of that is really exciting. I don't know what it looks like, but. Blaze of glory, baby. Mm. Bro. I hope I hope it I hope I at least see it coming. 
That's what I want. If it had comes to like this huge, like big world war, earthquakes, nuclear yeah. bombs, whatever it is, I just want to be prepared. I don't want to be, I don't want to come out of nowhere. You know what? I'm the opposite. I want it to catch me without me knowing. <laughs> I don't want to prepare Watch out! at all. I don't want to have any time to think about it. Oh. Ah, death, am I right, guys? Death, end of the world. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I mean, come on. <laughs> we're having a good time. Hey, we're Speaking a good of a good time, um, the creator of Peaky Blinders. Yes. Coming out with a new show. Yeah. What's, what's, what's it's the called? Theme? It's called House of Guinness. And it's about the Guinness Empire. That was in the 1800s. And I don't know anything about it, but if it's anything like the whiskey business in Liverpool, it would be pretty interesting. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's taking place in the 1800s in <laughs> Dublin, That's Ireland, right. and New York City. That'll be Bless fun. You, Andrew. That's going to be rad. And I just found out the, the creator, David Chase, the creator of T- The Sopranos, is creating a movie. It's gonna be a horror movie. Sopranos. Oh. <gasps> oh. Sopra- <laughs> Sopra- 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 Sopranos. Surprisos. <laughs> Surprisos. <laughs> um, cool. Anyways. Anyways, guys. I got, uh, I, I got a, a thing or two to talk on um, uh, Patreon. Patreon. It's going to be fun. Patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies. Yes. Shout out to all of our Patreon people. Guys, it, it's sign, the lowest level is five bucks. You get a free episode every single week, a free half episode, a free half episode every week, mm-hmm. every episode early. Discount codes. Live Q&As. And if you just found this pod and you're like, man, this would be great. I wish I had more. There's literally, I don't know how many half episodes now that no one's seen. Yeah. And if you if saw, you, if this is your, your first Patreon. time watching and you said, wish I would have I gotten that hour and a half back of my life. Sorry. Too bad. But you go can't. check us out on Patreon because you, we have more there. Yes, we do. <laughs> you waste more time, more of your time up there. Yeah. And go to SundayCoolSwag.com to get all your ninja merch. Lily, what do you have to plug? Um, if you Sunday do cool LASIK account. eye surgery in Florida and you are really good at it, let us know. Yeah. Or if you're just if you or if you're just like dabbling in it and you just want to like <laughs> like if you're like uh what is it and like doing an apprenticeship or something yeah. and you yeah. just need a person, Lily's your girl. Yeah, girl, gal is what I meant to say, but growl, growl, Lily's your growl. <laughs> I think that these hurt because I have my my fair light eyes. Mm. Do you need to put like sunscreen on your eyeballs before you come in? Mm-hmm. Mm. We guys just need to turn out in the proper setting. It's the low- it is. <clears throat> it's no, the lowest setting. The emergency episode was because mm, it was warm light. That um, five stars and everything, guys. Please, it helps us with the algorithm. If you comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I know there's some people who have been notified, uh, not being notified. Yeah, they've been subscribers for a really long time. They're like, why don't I don't see you guys' videos anymore? Guess what? Hit the bell. And you get notified every time we upload. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're going to read fan mail on our Patreon episode. Boom. Go so. show your friend at work that you think you would call yourself a friend with them, but they might call you an acquaintance. Show them our episode. Mm-mm. Show a stranger this episode. Show. While they're sleeping. <laughs> Say, hey, watch this. Yeah. This is a really funny reel that I, should, I saw on Instagram. I want you to look at it. Watch this. Quit yelling. Stop yelling. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, right? Uh, uh, anyways, okay. Love you guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, that was depressing, am I right? (laughs) (laughs) Sure was, Josh. Oh, man. Betterhelp.com.